Hi, this is Thomas from the Hamden Public Library, and in today's video, I am going to briefly explain and show you how to sign up for Hoopla and Freegal Music, two of our e-content lending services. For information on our other e-content services, take a look in the video description for more videos. If you have any more questions, please email us at info at hamdenlibrary.org or chat with us on Facebook. Chat hours are Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. and 4 p.m. to 8 p.m. First, let's look at where to find these services on the Hamden Library website. To access electronic content from the Hamden Public Library, first go to the Hamden Public Library website. Open up a web browser and you can start by typing in www.hamdenlibrary.org or searching Hamden Library in a search engine like Google or Bing. Once you are on the homepage of the Hamden Public Library, find the Download and Stream button which is the purple button on the right-hand side of the screen. You can also find it by going to Online Services, and it's the first option on the drop-down menu. This will take you to our Download and Streaming web page, which has a list of all our e-content lending services. In today's video, we will be focusing on Hoopla and Freegal. The first service we will look at is Hoopla. Hoopla has the widest variety of materials of all the e-content lending services. It has ebooks, audiobooks, music, movies, and comics. Content for Hoopla can be searched for and borrowed directly from the library catalog, but to access it, to actually read the content or listen to the audiobooks, you need to go to the Hoopla website. But anything you borrow will still appear in your account page on the library catalog. You can choose to return items early if you wish. In order to use Hoopla, you have to create an account. In order to sign up for an account, Hoopla requires an email address and a library card number. You'll also have to create a password. You can sign up for an account either through the Hoopla website or directly through the Hoopla app. Hoopla's borrowing rules are very different from the other e-content lending services on this page. For Hoopla, there are no wait times. Anything that you want can be checked out instantly. However, there is a trade-off to this. Hoopla only allows a limited number of checkouts per month. In our case, at the moment, it is six items per month per card. Hoopla, for the duration of the coronavirus pandemic shutdowns, has also made a number of items available to check out for free without, without having them count against your checkout numbers. Other than that, the six items per month is a hard limit. Returning items, even if you've checked them out 30 seconds before, does not reset your checkout limit. Once you press that borrow button, it subtracts a borrow from your account. Your items per month checkout limit will be reset on the first of the month. Loan periods. All the different materials in Hoopla have different loan periods. Ebooks, audiobooks, and comic books go out for 21 days. Music goes out for seven days. And most movies go out for three days. However, there are a few movies who, due to publisher concerns, can only be checked out for two days. If you run out of time with a particular item and you're not finished and you would still like to continue, you can instantly check it out again. However, doing so will count against the six item per month limit. Hoopla can be accessed on mobile devices using the Hoopla app, whose icon looks exactly like we've seen here. The app's name is Hoopla Digital, it is available on both the iOS and Android, so you can get it on both your iPhone and or Android phone. The app allows you to download materials directly onto your device. You can only download materials using the app. If you access Hoopla on a desktop computer using your web browser, you will be able to access and use the content through your web browser, but you won't be able to download it to your computer. You can only download it to the app. In order to sign up for Hoopla, go to the Download and Streaming page of the Hamden Public Library website, find and select Hoopla from the list of e-content services. Mouse over the icon and left on the link. This will take you to the Hoopla website. In order to sign up for an account, press on the Get Started Today button right in the center. Hoopla will ask you to enter in an email address and create a password. 
Enter your email into the top line and then write it again in the second line to confirm. Then you'll create a password. It can be any password you'd like, just make sure it'll be something that you'll remember. When you're ready to move on, hit Agree. On this page, it will ask you to select the library to which you belong. If you've allowed Hoopla to use your location, it will guess libraries close to where you live. You can also use the search bar to search for libraries by name. So for ours, you would type in Hamden Public Library. And as you can see, we are the only result. So left click on Hamden Public Library and hit Next. At this point, it will ask for your library card. Enter in your library card number and then hit Sign Me Up in order to create your account. Once you hit the final button, you will be logged in and ready to borrow. Our newest e-content lending services is Free Gold Music. We just got this one on April 3rd, 2020. It is a music and music video streaming service. It allows you to stream music. You can also download a few songs every week. You can also download and stream music videos as well. Unfortunately, content isn't available or searchable through the library catalog. So if you're used to using the uh, regular library catalog to find electronic content, Freegal's content is not available there. You can't borrow it there. You can't find, you can't even find it there. So in order to search their content, you have to go to Freegal's website or you have to go through the Freegal app. In order to use Freegal, you have to create an account with them. It's fairly easy. You just need a library card and you go to their website or their, the Freegal music app and it will ask you which library you belong to and what library card you have. And it will also give you the option to add an email address. You don't have to. What the email address does is it sends you an email twice a week reminding you of how many downloads you have left remaining. So it's a nice reminder. So there's two ways to borrow or access music through Freegal. The first is streaming. Streaming gives you temporary access to the music. You have to be connected to the internet in order to do it. What it'll do is you, you go on the Freegal site or the app and, and press play on a song and it'll just start playing. It doesn't download anything to your device, so there's nothing on your device. So you only get access to it temporarily. The nice thing about this is that you can play any number of songs you want for a limited amount of time. Freegal lets you stream up to three hours of music per day. Another way to borrow music through Freegal is to download it. So you can download music from the Freegal website or on the app. The advantage of downloading music is that it gives you permanent offline access to the songs. The two main upsides to that is you don't have to have an internet connection in order to listen to music and there are no due dates. You can keep the music for as long as you like. Another nice thing about downloading music from Freegal is that it doesn't come with any digital rights management software on the music files. That means is that you can copy the music to other computers or burn it to a CD. The downside to that is uh, not all publishers are comfortable with that, so not all songs can be downloaded from Freegal. But um, copying it from, say, if you downloaded it to your phone and you want it on your computer as well, you can copy it to your computer, you can burn it to a CD, that's all perfectly legal. Though you have to keep in mind, even if you do burn it to a CD or copy it to a different computer, copyright still applies and there's some things you can't do. Another thing with Freegal is you can't download entire albums. You can only download individual songs and you can only download three songs a week. So if you want an entire album, you won't be able to download the whole thing at once. You'll only be able to, at most, download three songs from it a week. But since you can keep the songs permanently, you can eventually get the entire album. It'll just take you a little while because you'll have to, depending on how many songs are in the album. If you're downloading music videos, bear in mind music videos count as two downloads instead of one. They're considered premium content. So you can download them, but you can only, effectively, you can only do one a week. The download limit resets every Monday at 12 a.m. Central Time. Another very important thing to note is if you've downloaded a bunch of music from Freegal and your computer crashes and you lose all the music, Freegal will not be able to restore all the music at the same time. 
due to uh, copyright and legal agreements Freegal has with various artists and the publishers. You can eventually get all the music back, but you'd have to download them like, three songs a week at a time. Because Freegal is so much more lax when it comes to copyright than the other e-content lending services we have, they don't have any copyright protection on their files. It's important to stress that copyright, even though you have downloaded the music and it is on your device, copyright still applies. The music you download from Freegal is only licensed for non-commercial personal use, and it's also non-transferable. What that means is that you cannot duplicate it and sell it or distribute it to others, meaning you can't make a copy and give it to your friend or mail it to a relative because that would count as distributing. You're also not allowed to play it in public other than for, quote, the intended enjoyment of a normal circle of family or friends, and that's directly from Freegal's FAQ. So when you're borrowing music from Freegal, just bear in mind that even though you're allowed to download it, copyright still applies and you are legally responsible for your treatment of these materials. Like the other e-content services, Freegal has a mobile app. The icon looks a little different from the desktop Freegal logo, as you can see to the right here. The name is Freegal Music. It is available on both Apple and Android devices. It has the same content as the desktop, and you can download materials either on the mobile app or you can do it from the desktop website. If you need to transfer downloads from one device to another, you're going to have to use um, standard file transfer methods. It's just an MP3 file. So if, if you have an Android phone, for instance, you'll have to uh, plug your Android into the computer and transfer it that way. If you have an Apple device, you'll have to use iTunes. To sign up for Freegal, go to the Download and Stream section of the Hamden Public Library website and click on Freegal up top here. This link will take you to the Freegal website. Up in the top right corner, you should see a login button. Click on it. I will open up the form for you to enter your library information. You can just ignore the country line. When you're ready, hit continue. If you're signing up for the first time, it will have you select your library from a list. Find Hamden Public Library and left click on it. You will be prompted to enter in your library card information. Do so now. On entering and submitting your library card number, you will be presented with Freegal's terms and conditions. In order to use the service, you need to agree to these terms and conditions. Once you are ready to do that, hit accept. If you'd like to receive email notifications about your weekly downloads, add your email here. It will do this every time you log in, unless you choose to select do not show this message again. With that, you are signed up and you can begin exploring all the music that Freegal has to offer. At the top of the screen, you will see it'll show how many downloads you have remaining, as well as how long you can listen to music today. You can choose to search for music here, or you can just browse through whatever is on the home page here. If you have further questions, see the help slide at the end of this presentation for more information on using Freegal. Thank you for watching this video overview on the Hoopla and Freegal Music e-content lending services. If you have more questions, you can use the following links, which will be available in the video description, to find tutorials and FAQs from the e-content lending services themselves. You can also email us at info at hamdenlibrary.org or chat with us on Facebook. Chat hours are 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. and 4 p.m. to 8 p.m.